evening and welcome to the seven of seven the drink bar game show that explores the inebriated minds of our guests get ready to embark on a wild and wacky as we gleefully toss convention out of the windows originally this show was conceived as a political charge platform to dissect the pressing issues in society but took an unexpected detour into the realm of alcohol fueled chaos yes somewhere along the line the noble pursuit of political discourse got overshadowed by the irresistible law of booze please know that this show is recorded under a controlled environment and our guests will be chauffeured to any location of his choice after remember to always drink responsibly ladies and gentlemen my name is oj and this is the seven of seven introducing our guest ladies and gentlemen a man with a knack for wearing many hearts including one adorned with the label the duke of shomolu but don't get don't let the wriggle try to fool you it's a character who tries on dark humor and doesn't shy away from staring the ports before his theatrical pursuits joseph edgar dabbled into the realm of investment banking where his sharp wit and unconventional charm left a memorable impression Rumor has it that his presence alone could turn a room of stoic bankers into a symphony of laughter, like a peculiar one-man comedy show in the midst of buttoned-up seriousness. His theatrical repertoire brims with daring perspective on the Nigerian society, serving up a cocktail of dark humor and biting commentary. With each play, Joseph Edgar masterfully navigates under the navigates the underbelly of social forms, delivering sad insights and cheeky provocations that challenge the status quo. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome investment banker, theatrical um, art curator, and the one you will never win an argument with. So I'm in <laughs> trouble today. Joseph Edgar, aka the Duke of Shomolu. Thank you. Thank you for joining us right here on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So are you ready for the show? Yep. Are you ready to drink? Yep. So you'll miss, you miss all the questions so that you just drink. What can I do first? What can I do first? So let, let me break it down. The rule right here on the show remains that you may ask a total of seven questions. Okay. Through the duration of this session, all questions must be from the Nigerian theater, okay. Lagos, and the life of and times of Joseph Edgar category. I will attempt to answer all of your questions yeah. while firing back with mine. And for each question we do not get correctly, we must drink. Okay, very right. That goes well. So, what would you like to drink tonight? Whatever, uh, I'll drink this. Or this. Do, you, do, you, do you want a mix of both? No, this is vodka, are we? It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. It's poison. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take our chances. You take the poison. We'll take our chances. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's talk about let's talk about theatre. Theatre has been going on for a long time. Yeah. What can you say about that part, that part of the industry in Nigeria? Is it booming? Is this something that people have not keyed into proper? What can you say about it? Well, so there are two sides. Okay. There are two sides. You know, so there's a, like I just had wrote a small piece today and it's caused a lot of trouble. I'm talking to the Alibaba and they're still chatting with me. You see, we told you. <laughs> so, there's, so there's the demand and the supply side. Okay. Do you understand? So the demand side is the market. That's those who come to see the place. Do you get? And then the supply side is those of us who provide that, level, that sort of um, entertainment so on the demand side it's it's, it's booming I must, I must say that and you know for the last four or five years since we have been in the industry we've had major productions during the christmas period mm. yeah so bonan is having one in the culture we are mm -hmm. having one at the moosson Tony is having one somewhere else six seven eight nine ten major productions every weekend of december till third week of january all filled to the brim it's everybody massive. no space to sit and all of that so on the demand side there's really no problem on the supply side, you know, we're having more and more people coming to, to the space. We're having more producers coming in, actors are getting jobs. So it's not that bad. It could be better, but it's not that bad. But why are you listening like this? You said I'm feeling I'm feeling yours up. Oh, first. that's how it's done. So if I miss one question, I'll not take you one. Right? No, we've not even started the question. We're just having I know. we're just having a friendly banter. Okay, but nice. <laughs> so I walk on my head and just go home like this. The way we got you covered. <laughs> I'm not wearing boxers in case I put my pants over. <laughs> So what are the advantages and disadvantages, by the way? I want to about theater act. For me as a producer, I, I, I like the intimacy between mm. the actors on stage and the audience. Okay. You know, that's a very brilliant one. And it also allows for 
well talented people to show their talents. Do you understand? You know, so I was just watching some. So Nollywood people, the normal. Man, I don't want to talk to my brother or no. <laughs> but you see, yeah, yeah, I was watching. So, so when I go to film sets, it's, I find it quite boring. Mm. Yeah, because when they shoot, you the cut, cut, come again, cut. So do what it twenty six times. I don't think I don't want to work. But theater, there's that immediacy. There's that that just show straight up, straight up. Do you understand that? Like the advantage is that it has a finite audience. It can't really go very far. Mm. Do you get me now? So. Um, just between that 400 people in that hall yeah. at that point in time, you know, like on like movies that you can watch and live stream and download and all mm -hmm. of that. So, I've tried to take theater into those places, you know, films and documents and all of that. But for me, it's not theater if it's not in that in that live format. Yeah. Do you understand it? So, anything outside of that, you want to watch a movie, watch a movie, but not. A theater in a movie, you know, mm. it doesn't really it doesn't work. work for I've, me. I've, have there been any instances? I've, I've been always wanting to ask this mm. question. Mm. Have there been instances whereby because it's live and it's straight, mm -hmm. and somebody goofs, mm -hmm. and the person just freezes and? I mean, not in my production here, yeah, but okay. what, what they do is that they ad lib. Yeah, that happens once or twice with Inka Davis, but she will keep me now for calling her name now and then. But <laughs> you know, and I don't think she we knew. told you. Yeah, I don't think she knew <laughs> that we got it. Do you oh. understand? You get it. So I think she missed that line. For we, we will not know. We, we watching. Know, yeah. So I, I think she she forgot the line. So usually the next person will help her kind of up. You can, or the director will be fun with that. But what funny thing happens in worry? Let me just tell you guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> worry. So in worry, the Olu of worry is on, is on is in the audience. Okay. I'm not supposed to wear a cap when you lose around. But there's another Olu of worry on stage. Yes, there's a Olu. There's two, there are two Olu's in the hall. Okay. Do you get me now? So the loose protocol people are coming to me to say, ah, coming to me and the director say, no, you can't, you can't wear cap on stage. I'm like, no, that, that, that's 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 Olu, that's his grandfather, yeah. that's the bigger Olu than the one that is life here. So there's that argument going on during during the production. Do you understand? And they said, no, no, that is it's their culture that the Olu will work out it, if we don't do the um, do the um, the needful. So the director now goes backstage to say, please, guys, um, um, no, I think. It was um, the Olu must wear cap. So this Olu on stage wasn't wearing, wasn't wearing cap. You get because in the vex, yeah. you know, it's on the annoyance. So in the vex, he won't kill his son, so he don't come on cap. So he said he must, he must always wear his cap because the Olu cannot be seen without it, wearing his cap. Is it your production? Yeah, so, <laughs> you get, so this Olu had come out to with that cap. So this other people don't even, you know how like that they've been. Yeah. So the the concern has been given the vex past the Olu himself. True. You get the hair. So. So the director now goes back to say, wear your cap, wear your cap, wear your cap. But don't forget, this guy has been rehearsing for three weeks with that Without cap. it. So, and then, and then the console, the the lighting, the, yeah. so we are upstairs at the back of the stage, at the back of the hall. And the hall is a very huge, oh, it's like 2,000, 2,000 people filled to the brim. And this Oluna comes out again without the cap, forgetting that the director. For trouble? The director lost his mind and mm. ran. Ran into Across the hall the like this, okay. past everybody, ran to the stage, and said, so, Put your cap, put your cap! <laughs> on, on top. I would never die. <laughs> yeah, but the Lou knew what was going on. Yeah. The students knew what was going on, and all of that. Yeah, but the crowd were like, So every time the director says, Well, come, come, The crowd will shout, able be happy, able be, you know, thinking yeah, it's part of the whole game, but, you know. So those things happen. So always respect the culture, whichever yeah, way. That's yeah, the lesson to yeah, learn. True, so true. what we'll do right here, we'll first take one. Mm. I'll fill it up, ladies and gentlemen. You can pick one. Um, this but is. I told you guys, I told you that, that wait, me I'm a sweet tooth, though. This is. Oh, but I up was. <laughs> this is like we signing the dotted lines okay. that we will obey by the rules. Okay. That if you miss one question, you will drink. Oh. No problem. I'll try not to miss Duke any. Duke of Shumolu. <laughs> if I'll you try miss not one question, you will drink. Oh. I'll try not to drink any. Okay, so. Can so I drink now, eh? We're clear. Now that we are both clear on the rules, let the drinking continue after this break. Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the 7 of 7. So buckle up and brace yourself for an unapologetic approach to comedy as we ruffle a few feathers and spark conversations for your entertainment with the Duke himself, the Duke of Shomolu, Joseph Edgar in the building. So are we good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. So I filled it up, so fresh 7 of 7. Let's go. My first question, um, 
Okay, let's. <laughs> you didn't count down to be sure. Yeah. Okay, let's just chat a little bit. Can we? Can you talk us through how you became known as the Duke of Shimulu, by the way? Oh no, my God. <laughs> oh my God. So I was born in Shimulu now. Okay. I was born in Shimulu. I've been in Shimulu all of my life. Up until at least like I think two years ago. So I just moved to Yaba. So my house I can't see Shimulu. Oh, I still, yeah. So I'm a Shimulu person, you know. And then one day. Um, cause my guys, so we lived in a block of flats, you know, five, six flats, and I've been an investment banker, so I had five cars. Only me had five cars I'm in the okay. compound, yeah. So we said, ah, but well, you don't have to go to this place, you don't have to go to this place, you need to leave, you need to leave. But I didn't want to go, cause school fees was coming towards me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so why would I go and live in Lekki? I don't go to up with school fees, you understand? So I don't want to go. But so I was taking out like a sore thumb, you know, and. I, I was getting robbed. I was the only person I was getting robbed. Do you get to? Yeah, so I come downstairs, they claim my car, they remove brain box, everything. Yeah, I go I go upstairs to sleep. Before I wake up, they claim my parlor. You get to? So one day I came down, I said, I said, my God, but why do we even have you you if this is not happening? So I got the time someone calls you, they're gone. Do you get it? But this is Bogart, someone's entering the house. I'm here, you know. So I had the shouting match, you know, and that goes. If they do like saying he be king of Shimolu, you know they talk like saying he be king, like saying he be get, like he be like he get Shimolu, like he get everybody, you get. <laughs> so that's talking my head, you know. That's talking my head. But then I decided to tell them I was in That's talking my head. And then, and then one of my friends, his name is Jimmy, you know, he's an investment banker too. So he he read one of my articles, and he said you write like a duke. Mm. Yeah, you write like a duke. You write like with authority, you get. So. The two just can't join. She will lose you. Now it's easy. I don't think I'm going to go. Hope you are paying them for. No, I'm paying them. I'm going to go to that. Since we are still talking about Shomulu, um, yeah. did you ever hear about the legendary story of Alojo of Shomulu? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, an honest man, how upon his return from a neighboring country in the 1920s, came to yeah. understand the needs of small time traders and with experience from an old Cameroonian method called Ajogiba, mm. became his operation of thrift collection in the Shomulu area of Lagos, hence mm. the nickname Alojo Shomulu, mm. where he became a big businessman and only retired in 2012. Um, your question is Noting that this method of saving has become popular and is known by many Nigerian names like Ajo and Isusu Can you tell us what neighboring country did Afausios Taiwo Ulunaike aka Baba allow Joshimolu get this idea from? It doesn't even belong to Minana, but you don't mention the country for this <laughs> Cameroon, but for I didn't know so you see, you, 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 you see that's the old idea. At times, okay, let me not say our little secret because it gets to work with some guests. Yeah. Okay, just okay. Yeah. So you do not drink that. No, it's if you miss. Oh, if I miss. Uh, well, if I miss, you drink. If I miss your question, I will drink. Oh, okay. So I got this one now. So you are not drinking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Don't change the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are very correct. Cameroon. In Cameroon, one of his neighbors was a thrift collector and it yeah. gisted him about the business, which immediately caught the fancy, caught his fancy as a result. By the time he returned to Nigeria in 1954, mm. he already had it in mind that he was going to start the business of Ajobiba, mm. which is thrift collection. Mm. It was 39 at that time before he left Cameroon. It took with him a copy of the truth collection card used by the Cameroonian neighbor. Upon reaching Nigeria, he made his own copies of the card and he named his own venture Popular Daily Alajo Shomolu. Mm. Yeah, so you are good with that one. Yeah. My second question, hopefully I don't give you hints. Yeah, please give me hints. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nigerian playwrights have made significant contributions to the global theatrical landscape. Playwrights like Wale Shoyinka, mm. who became the first African Nobel laureate in literature, and mm. Olarotimi have gained international recognition for their works. Mm -hmm. But who is considered the pioneer of Nigerian theatre? Okay, so it's here. <laughs> <laughs> I have the answer. Yeah. I, I, I have what I think is the answer. But hmm. I would not want to agree. So a lot of people say about the Bundi, but I'm not going hungry. Why? It's like when you say uh, is that your final answer first? That's my final answer for the sake of this for the sake of this program. Okay. You guess, that's the official answer. But let me say my own. Because I'm a controversial man. We know. So it's like <laughs> when you say uh, somebody is coming with a Niger. Do you understand? So you're able to take that as the gospel truth. So I was doing whatever it was doing in Southwest. 
Yeah, yeah people do stuff in, in Igbo land. They put this stuff in Akwaibo. They put this stuff in, in, in the far, 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 far more than... You see, if you come to Akwaibo, you go to Akwaibo, man, there are, there, are, there, are, there are stories that you hear. There are, there are, you get me now? So, so maybe because you people are the first people in Mapu <laughs> to, to, to have education. <laughs> you are the first people to be writing stuck. book. Uh -huh. So, you know, about yeah. Ogudeo. So, for sake of this argument, about Ogudeo. But if I'm going to write my book, you get, I will put? go for, I don't even know, but I will go, I will go, I will go, go deeper. But you see, about Ogudeo, why they say about Ogudeo? Because, for example, now, I would say Bola Los Ibitas is the mother of modern theater. Hmm. I would say that. Okay. Do you get? But it's like how you rate banks. So you can't come and say, oh, this bank is the biggest bank. But banks will say, okay, I'm the biggest in terms of deposit base. This, this, I'm the this, biggest this, in terms this, of shareholder and God bless. So for me, in terms of the commercial explosion of theater, yeah. I would say Bernard was with that. But the people within the same era that have done a lot of work all yeah. over the country. When we did Zeke, there was, there was a young boy that came that is Zeke for me, Dr. Ikoko. If you see what this guy dropped for me was Zeke this last December, mm -hmm. you will cry. And then when I recite him, you see the things he has been doing. But he's in Suka. Yeah. Do you get me it's now? Not so in our it's faces. not in our face. There's no media there. Do you get? Yeah. So all this social media, everything behind the Lagos. Mm -hmm. So but the guy is doing great things in Suka. Do you get me now? That's why it's so about good day for a second, so I don't have to drink so, or drink. Yeah, finish. you like it's you like you one. like you like trouble. It's yeah. don't do. It's the This I'm saying so they can beat me oh. The answer is when they hear they will beat me, this I'm saying so, yeah. but it's okay. You better good day, thank you very much. Yes, you better good day's okay. contribution to Nigeria. Theatre extended mm. beyond playwriting. He was also an actor, director, and musician. Mm. And, and he married his all his production daughter. of <laughs> featured life he music all of them. and dance. He used theatre as a medium to educate, entertain, and advocate for social change. Throughout his career, Roberto Gunde received numerous awards and accolades for his contribution to the arts. He played a pivotal role in laying the foundation of Nigerian theatre and inspiring subsequent generations of playwrights and performers. And he married all his wife. He don't do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. So I've done two questions. Okay. Your turn for your two questions. And... He got the first two correct. Now, while I would do like this, look at my glasses. Those are not old. <laughs> Obviously, well. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I've done 10 years. 10 years in theater. Yeah, no, there's not 10 years. It's seven years. Yeah. So, which sector was I working first before my first drama production? Sector as in? Where was I working? Which sector was I working? Was I a mechanic? Or oh, who was I before I came into the theater? Oh, now you don't talk sense now. At all. Even though you're, even, even though you're <laughs> by yourself. Invest, <laughs> investment banking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, get that one so I got that one right. You got that one right. No drinking for me. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's going tough one now. Really? That's going tough one now. Have I ever done a play that involved nudity? This is my staff, I ask all these questions. I come with all the questions, I'm a mumu question. So let me ask you for my head. Have I ever done any play that involved nudity? Yes. What was the name of the play? Anonymous Nipples. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you break my heart. Oh, you break my heart. You don't miss half. <laughs> it means you make answer. Yes, I did a play from nudity called Trisom. It was played by Judy Dada. So he had he had, he had nudity. He had he had very strong themes. You know, he had he talked about incest, talked about threesomes, talked about um, um, BDSM. When are you, then, when are you doing the next one? So I'm doing Anonymous Nipples now, which is taking it to the next level. So Anonymous Nipples is the book I wrote. We're interested during, in this. Yeah, yeah. Anonymous is the book I wrote during <laughs> COVID. Oh, okay. So when they said, everyone can over, everyone can over, everyone can go, I was bored. So I said, let me write a book on sex. Do you get So I got 11 beautiful women, Evelyn Ibro, Regina Askia, some other women. So they contributed oh. essays. Do you get And I wrote 13 essays. Do you get On all sorts. You know, all sorts. You know. And then I got my brother, um, two of my brothers, Femi Olude and um, Ore. So these are experts in taking what they call boudoir pictures. Those pictures they take nude pictures yeah. of women, yeah, but it's not totally nude, but uh, you so can they, see the yeah, so they contributed pictures to my name. That did a photo shoot of a lady in the nude. You get it was a beautiful book. 
and the book so so that book is what we are putting on stage, on stage. now this August, yeah. Okay. We will look out for that one. So I'm mm. not drinking Abi. I don't know what to do again. You don't miss the question, so you go drink now. I mean, I'm going to do one in fail. I'm going to do one in fail. Ah, I said you're supposed to be. <laughs> no, I'm going to drink one in fail now. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to drink. <laughs> so, so, I ask one more question, Abi. No, we've done two, two now. Yeah, okay, what's one more? We've done two. Okay, I'm enjoying this. Let's go on this quick break. And I still want to hear more about all this. <clears throat> we'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. OJ is still right here in the building of the Duke of Shimolu, Joseph Elga in the building. That's where he has told me some mad... Like that story that I talked about. Oh, the title again? Threesome. Threesome, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go and look up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, do what you do. Exactly. My next question. Um, let's talk about this one. Baba Kikere is an annual stage play that chronicles the life and legacies of veteran journalist and former governor of Lagos State in Nigeria, late chief Latif Kayode Jakonde. Mm. The theatre production you stand behind with your Duke of Shimulu production. Tell us why this story is there to you, by the way. So yeah. I felt that I should tell this story. Mm. Yeah, because this was the true father of Lagos. So everything everybody has done from, from his time to date is just building on that. Transportation, education, mm -hmm. health and everything. Are you getting me now? And then this person did this thing with little or no corruption, mm -hmm. with little or no, with serious efficiency. Do you get me now? All of that. And then all of a sudden, do you get, he was being written out of the history books. Mm. Do you get it? So his problem started, and I just heard this in the Kenneth. His problem started, we fell out you know, with Aou. Oh. That's the part that we don't put in know. Yeah, so because of that, he, he lost some this thing. So I felt like bringing back this story to remind people that look, there's someone like that lived. Yeah. I know the funny thing about the whole thing is that he just died two, three years ago. He just died. And my social media, my social media consultant, no even know her. <laughs> I kid you not. When we're trying to, to sell this thing, almost the whole cast and crew, they know there's a Latif Jack on the road though. Yeah. But they don't know who the person what he yeah, is. You get and for me it was it was the most active governor in Lagos ever. Yeah, nobody can even catch up with him. That's right. so, so that's how we did that play. It was a very beautiful place. Wife came to see the play and then um, I went to his house because one beautiful thing about this is that I usually go to their houses. So I went to his house, entered his bedroom, mm. do you get the man was so simple. If you enter his bedroom, you think he's you entering entered his bedroom, saw all of his files. Do you get? And then the wife told me how they came to arrest him that day of the coup. Yeah. Do you get? But because they respected what he was doing, they didn't put him in the cell like every other person. They just kept him on the on the outside. The wife came to see the play. It was a beautiful play. It was a very oh beautiful God. play. And then one funny thing happened again. Uh, Fashola. Mm -hmm. I invited Fashola. And then, oh God. So he's in Global Hall. Mm -hmm. So he invited Fashola. And Fashola now wrote, called me back and said, ah, Duke. That day is Salah, is the Salah, uh, it's, it's going to be Salah. Yeah. So Muslims will, may not come for the play, you get. So why don't you take it to the next day? So I took his advice. No, no, why don't you take it for the next day? Yeah. So I took his advice and did it a day before Salah. Salah. And then the show was beautiful. We waiting for me, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, no problem. I said, okay, maybe you know, you know, all game money, I'm not saying, you know, all game money, I don't go. But the next day, I think I was in stream, I found the ring, I will continue to have missed calls. Chief of Staff to the Minister. We are, we are in Global Hall. Where are you there? I said, show us yesterday. He <laughs> forgot. I said, but you were the one that advised me to change the, forgot, yeah. the date. I said, Minister is here. Everybody is here waiting. The hall is empty. So my brother, show us. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know? now since, since we're talking about the um, late chief um, Latif Kayade Jakonde, yeah. um, in his time as Lagos State Governor, um, Latif Jakonde can be remembered for many things, like you said, among which are housing schemes mm. he developed for the poor and the establishment of the Lagos State University, and yeah. amongst yeah. many others. Yeah. He did so much for yeah. Lagos State and is recognized as one of his best governors so far yeah. in Lagos. But what state? In Nigeria, what's the Latif Jakonde from? Kwara. That's I can't I can't even feel that one because I don't fight that fight. We don't argue that argue. See, argue until last week. Final answer. Yes, Kwara. If you say if you say that's not the answer, that's how we'll fight your walk away from there. It's on Kwara State, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> the governor of Kwara State, my friend, Chipoye. 
gave me money for Baba Kike. He said because governor, the guy is actually from Kwara. So that leads us the question of the Wizard Negosha. Hmm. You get so so he traces their, his family roots to um Omoara. Omoara is in Kwara now. Mm-hmm. It's his family roots to so you are talking about Lagos. Lagos, yes. Is it is in Isaleko? Mm. There's one some good it's where some good territory. Ekpe, ekpe tedo. Ekpe tedo, God bless you. Do you get me now? Ekpe tedo. So so that's where his family but his ancestry is on my own in Kwara State. Um, I, don't, I don't like it that you've not drank anything. You've not missed any of my yeah, cannot miss, uh, well, Okay, so you're, actu- miss. you're actually correct. It's yeah. from Kwara State. God bless you. Even though Baba... I'm very happy you're saying this, though. <laughs> Even though Baba Keke relative Jack on the, Kayode Jakonde was born in the Epetodo area of Lagos Island on the yeah. 29th of July, 1929, his parents ill from Omuaro in Kwara State. Yeah, so yes. you are very correct. You know your things. You know your onions. But no, because we see Algen and can you imagine? You see, I you. So I just give you cheap questions. Yeah, so... someone won't beat me for this matter. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's talk about this one, my first question. You tell a very interesting story about seeing a modestly put together stage play at Freedom Park mm. in 2020 called Threesome. Mm, okay, yeah. That's uh, that later propelled you into expanding the production. Yeah. Um, we've talked about the dynamics of the production and yeah. how it impacted you. Now let's talk about Freedom Park itself. Freedom Park in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> holds historical significance as a site that represents Nigeria's journey towards democracy yeah. and freedom. Yeah. But it is now becoming a hub for theatre practitioners. Yeah. Your question is, what historical site Na prison. is known today <laughs> where Freedom Park is located? What, so what was, was it before? Prisoner. That's where they put a hole on Jack on the Macanaro. The final answer. That prison, not check me, I know that prison, because the walls are still there. The prison walls are still there. Is it, is it, is, um, it was for sure that, that, that um, signed the JV with um, Yenikuti, mm-hmm. Yenikuti's um, uh, family. family. Yeah. They know, I, I don't know how to call her brother and her husband, I don't know, but they are still together yeah, yeah. here, yeah? To, to turn it into that story site. So if you go to Freedom Park, you see the walls of the old prison still there. So that's, that's just what they said, oh, don't touch it, don't touch the walls, they build around it. And then the cells, you see you see our cell, you see Jack on the cell. So they've turned those cells to, they're supposed to go there with the Wi-Fi to do those stuff. So, and then you now, you see the building where the museum is there. You get where, when you come in, when, when, they, when they've convicted you, they register you and all of that. Again. In fact, there's a part again, where they kill people, mm-hmm. where they hang them. And then, so the, 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 what do you call those things? The amphitheater, mm-hmm. do you get the hair? So that's where um, you can go there and, and do free speech yeah. if you want to. Yeah. So that's in, in honor of those yeah. who died for like our independence yeah. and that. So it's, it's a prison. What, what, what if I tell you with all of this explanation, you're actually wrong? Okay, so then what's the answer? So the answer is Freedom Park, which is located on the site of the former Lagos yeah, colonial prison. You are correct. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I'm not naked for you now. We don't want to see your nakedness. So. <laughs> because, you see, you see, you see, you see, let me tell you something. Let, 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 let. Why is he getting all my questions? Hold on, let me tell you why. You see, I like history. Mm. Yeah. So, even as a small boy, when I was going to school at um, FSS, you know FSS? It's not the college case college now. Yeah. Fresco had a size in VI. <laughs> so, when we had that bus drop for CMS, when that bus drop for CMS, hmm? I will walk all that stretch. To see. All of that stretch is history. That's what's paining me that we can't we can't we can't conserve those things. So yeah. that federal prison is there. Um Azikwe's office is there. It's Brown Status Marina beside the governor's mm-hmm. office. You see the tomb of the unknown soldier is there. King's College is there. You see the Supreme Court is there. Mm-hmm. Tafar Balua Square um, where the handed over Nigeria, Britain over Nigeria is there. Also, all of that area should be preserved. True that. True that. You know, the same true thing with Yaba. If you go to Yaba, you cry. If you go to Queen's, you know Queen's Road on Yaba? Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they call it Queen's Road, because the Queen of England stayed there. Mm. The Brazilian embassy is still there till tomorrow morning. They're selling rice for that place. So, so they're just <laughs> breaking down those houses and, and giving it and to people, people listening to people. Little people, yeah. people to go and build all those ugly houses. You get me now? You know, Nigeria. so look at Baini Zoo in Yaba. You know Baini Zoo. You wonder where that one is. They're selling cricket there now. Baini Zoo. <laughs> that's the first zoo. You see, they're selling cricket there now. Yeah. 
you know, so, so I'm let's learn to preserve well. our culture. So, yeah, definitely correct. Yes, mm. the prison, which was built in 1872 mm. during the British colonial era, the prison served as a place of incarceration for political activities mm -hmm. and dissenters during that time. Mm -hmm. So, I don't like what's happening on the show today. There's another place in Sally Gosan and They call them um, the broken that place down now. That place. It's like if you go to London, it's already called Hyde Park in Hyde yeah. Park in London. So if you stand there, you can send it, nobody arrest you. Mm. Yes, yeah. 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 call it Hyde Park yeah. in London. Yeah. So we had something like that in Lagos too. Tash and I need to go there. So Tash and I will go there, stand there, and declare. And declare. Nobody can touch him because it was a stolen ground. But money come out to arrest him. <laughs> so he will stand there and talk and stay there. They won't touch him, they'll surround the place. But don't pick a nana, nah, don't, 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 don't build petrol station or something. <laughs> <laughs> your next questions. Yes. Well, I should ask you. you yeah, so you're doing two now. I've done two. Okay. I've done two again after the break. Yep. So since I'm asking you questions that you probably no, you should just make it light for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so measure five no, okay, let me chip on that. Measure five plays I've done in the past. Please. Measure any five. I've done fourteen. So measure any five. Three song. One. Also. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 Aremu, Obasanjo, two? yeah. Two. You said two, no? I said five. You did? Yeah, measure any five. Jeez. I'm not 14, so that's a good one. Uh, 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 um, Latif Jakonde. No, that, that's Baba not Kekere. Yeah, Baba Kekere. Baba Kekere. Yeah, you go, Baba Kekere. Kekere. Uh, um, Olu of Worry. No, that's not the name. Yeah? <laughs> well, that's okay, not the name. <laughs> Olu. No, that's not the name. Uh, that's. Is that you got the Ogame, but Ogame what? Ogame the first? Ogame no, the second? No, no, no. That's like. How many have I said now? You've done two, I mean? Three. Three, okay, so two more to go. It's made time, time, time. To why, cut you be, why you be wicked? <laughs> the time, yes. So is it is the Ogiame part of the three? No, Ogiame will be make it like. Okay, three. So let, let me give you, but that's four. not the full name. But let me give four. you three. So that's Ogiame. That's four. That's four. Okay, four. So one more. Awo. Yeah. Yeah. Awo. Yeah. Awo five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not drinking. Yeah, okay, so I'm drinking now, right? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your next question. Yeah, so we've done 14 plays. Damn. 14. So we, we, we want to want to be the biggest. We've 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 worked with 5,000 actors in the last seven years, and last year we did eight plays. This year we're going to do nine. That's another one. Yeah, yeah. So and we and we are the only theatre production company that has gone to five states. We've done Lagos, Abeokuta, Benin, Wari, Uyo, and Abuja. So we've done Saldana. Mm. We are going back to Abuja this September to do some on Itsunupe on its 20th, 20th anniversary. Do you get it? And then we are doing um, they were doing a very beautiful play. You must, you must read a lot. Eh? You must read a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't read that anymore. When I was young, I to, so when I was young, eh, you know my case was opposite. You know, parents used to look for a way to beat their children to, to read. read. I mean, they used to beat me to stop, stop reading. Stop reading. Yes. So at, as early as seven years, I was reading Sunday Times. I used to discuss Sunday Times. So I just heard last week that I'm autistic. Oh, someone just 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 told me I'm autistic. <laughs> so can okay, no problem. doesn't affect my sex drive. Yeah. Okay. Your next question. <laughs> he said sex drive. <laughs> oh. My next question. Okay. Um. Yeah, I like this. So mention seven dignitaries that have attended all my shows. Seven dignitaries. See, see, well, uh, I've played. Well, you want to laugh? I'm gonna tell you the show. Oh, love worry. Yes. One. I've mentioned him already. Uh, Olusha Goba Sanjo. Two, I mentioned you already. Uh, Two. We have five to go. There should be time. Why, why are you giving me seven? I don't know, it's my guy that wrote seven. Why not just give so me I mean, three? No, I don't have to drink this. Um, Baba Tunde Raju Fashola. You mean that you didn't come, you missed it. Two. Seven, how do I survive? Uh, Latif Jack on this wife. <laughs> no, 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 no,
Um, uh, Four more. Uh, I'm body. Yeah. I kill me, I'm body. Uh, I'll kill you. I kill, yeah. I kill, I kill me, I'm body. Five. Five. Baba did you do some olu? Six. I think you can't. <laughs> so I should just be calling names of governors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, need to go. Bola met Inubu. Yeah, she did. <laughs> no. He did not come for any of you. Yeah, I'm going to my place. I've never invited him. <laughs> Governor. So you've you've done in you've done in. No, you want to give me hints now. You've done in Ogun State. Ogun State governor didn't come. <laughs> oh. Yes, we've done Ogun State. Um, Otunbag Benga Daniel. No. Uh, Amos. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who else was a governor in Ogun State? Did the governor come? So am I supposed to help you? <laughs> <laughs> am I supposed to help you? There's so many degrees that have come, bro. so many. <sighs> ah. In Lagos. Lagos Ogun. Lagos Ogun. Kwara, the governor of Kwara State. Yeah. The, uh, the governor of Kwara State. So fair enough. Go on, let me tell you about the governor of Kwara State. Go on, Kwara State. <laughs> Came for my show, Emir Sanusi in Lagos. With Emir Sanusi? No, he, he, so he didn't come with Emir Sanusi. Okay. So I invited him and he came very late. So there was no space. I didn't know who he was. So he just came very simple. And you should meet him, a very simple guy. So he just went kaftan. And stood beside me and said, I've come. Yeah. And I looked at him. What the hell I said, said Who are you? <laughs> so I didn't recognize him. And I said, You're the one invited me. I said, I don't understand. I said the show has gone far. There's no seat to sit. So I walked away. Stop. Yeah, I walked away. And then he walked towards me again and said, ah, Edgar, it's me, I've come. I said, what's wrong with this person? Do you get? So he now showed me his chat. So I said, you know what I chatted me? Really? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency. <laughs> Can you imagine? So I took him in. There was no seat. I was going to have it. The first thing I just called. I just, I just tapped the guy. I said, come, what state are you from? I said, Kwara. I said, this is a government. Stand yeah. up. Get up. <laughs> I like that. Yes, no. I like that. So I like that. Very simple, lovely, like that. beautiful guy. So he came for Emir Asana. And then his wife came for Saudana in Abuja. Yeah. Like, you have dig issues around. So I'm not drinking because I got this right. Yeah, Thank you did. Thank you, Jesus. Um, mm. Ignore whatever I see on the table because mm. I don't know. The Duke of Shomola has refused to drink yes, sir. anything. So I'm winning. OK, let's go on this quick break. And we'll be mm. back. <laughs> and we're back ladies and gentlemen it's still seven of seven the duke of shamalu joseph edgar in the building oj also in the building and he has refused to miss any of the questions i've been asking that's why everything is still full on his side <laughs> i've missed one that's why one is empty on my side hopefully with my next question he gets to drink so are you ready for this one yeah yeah let's go i'll come go ask you a question when you go no no <laughs> i will try not to know <laughs> okay being a playwright and a thespian what place does the national theater uh, national theater i go more hold in your heart that's not the question Sha. how does that play because we talked about we not preserving our culture mm. how do you see the national theater i go more? I, I think the first of all you have to get away from government Mm. Yeah, I don't believe in government. That doesn't mean I'm an anarchist. So I believe that governments just stay where they should stay, which is to provide security, provide a labor environment. But government cannot run. You get. So if national theater is being run by government, it's just see how it's being now. You get. So first of all, I think it's just take it away from government, sell it. Yeah, give it to the Let people who know what to do handle it. You get. Then let government provide infrastructure around the place, yeah. roads, and security, all of that. You get me now. You know, and then and then you see the place. Listen, last December we sh we went there to do a photo shoot because we did four plays in December, and then we had 300 actors, so we took all 300 to National Theatre to go and do a photo big shoot. photo shoot. So you come to my house and you see a very big collage of all those people. It's a beautiful place, very central. Yeah. But you see, the 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 mass destruction of infrastructure, which has now led to slums. You have started breeding crime has affected that area. That, yeah, so you, I do not expect somebody from who lives in the Koi or who lives to in Kenya to go there to go there. there no. that's, the, that's the factor yeah. right there. Yeah, so yeah. let, let government pull out, sort out the 
the, the environmental so, degradation. You can then see to push it back there again. Yeah. The construction of the National Theatre was commissioned in 1973 by the Nigerian government under the leadership of General Yakubuko. Won the project aimed to provide a world-class venue for promoting and showcasing Nigerian arts, theatre and culture. Now your question, the Duke of Shomolu. And please miss this one. God let him miss it. Mm. What year was the National Theatre Igomo open? Okay, so there's an argument. Hey, God. <laughs> <laughs> there's an argument. So officially, some people say 76. Others will say 77 because of first act 77. Hmm. You understand? But officially, um, Google is everything will say 76. You get it. But that, that, that place, that, that, that um, project was opened specifically for uh, first act 77. You get it. But officially, it's 1976. So what's your answer? 76. For example, this program, we are going to argue this way and we we'll argue outside separately. You're actually wrong. No, I can't be wrong. Nice yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. God. <laughs> What's happening on the show today? <laughs> yes, 1976, the theater was officially opened yeah. on September 30, 1976 yeah. to coincide with Nigerian 16th independence anniversary. The ground opening ceremony included various performances, cultural displays, and a speech yeah. by the then head of state, General Olusegun Obasanjo. Yeah, Garima went there to watch Langbudu. Mm. That was my first stage play as a child. Mm. I have to bring that play back on Langbudu. Seven hunters. Yeah. Yeah, we are giving inspiration now. Yeah, I'll be having back. Yeah, my next question, God, please let him drink. Why would he pray? God, why am I praying to you to let somebody drink? <laughs> so, um, why you talked about, yeah, we've talked about the political satire and others that you've done. Now, my question is, what is the term that is used to describe the genre of the theater which explores Sexuality. Okay. You don't catch me that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Yes, what sexuality? Can you imagine, God? The question you now missed that you gave it to me is about sex. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that one. Though. I don't know. Okay. I give up. What's the answer? Erotic theater. That's obvious. That's how you get it. Go, take it far. Erotic theater, <laughs> yes, also known as sexually explicit theater. The genre of theater aims to explore sexuality, desire, intimacy, and human relationships. That's my animal's nipples. In a frank and explicit manner, it often delves into themes such as sexual liberation, yeah. sexual politics, gender dynamics, and personal experiences related yeah. to sexuality. That's a drink. So we finally get him to drink one. Lord, I think. How is your last question? No. I still have one more. Ah, sins. But it's funny, oh. God, now the sex one. So I don't that come here and now miss everything, I drink everything. I suppose we are call is just missing by by delivering everything. Now your turn. We're going to ask a very simple question. What play am I taking to London next year? What play? Am I taking to London next year? I think it's a very simple question now. Wait, wait. I have two options. Yes. Look. Why are you doing three cups? <laughs> an anonymous nipples. Nope. No, no, I, like, I'm not. Okay. Awo. <laughs> Awo. Okay. Okay, you got to do both. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to scatter my brain? <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've, you've been doing you've been doing I will play around it, right? No, no, no. So I did the first one at the Global Hall. Okay. And then the second one Muslim Center a year after. Yeah. So now what I'm thinking to London is because of all the 14 plays that I've done all over the country, I was a recording decimal. Yeah, so what with this Saldana, you can see Awu in Saldana in that story. What with this Zeke, you can see Awu. When we did uh, Gamma in Worry, you can see how, in fact, in Worry, in Delta State, the, the, after God, Jesus is our <laughs> Yeah? And then, uh, of course, Baba Keke is our yeah. So it's Aleko, there's our So, so most of the story is The only story that we have done that I've lost in our is Emota. And Emota is an ancient story, yeah. an ancient business story. Okay? But any pre modern Nigerian story, there's our So that story. tells me that person was not just a normal person. Mm -hmm. yes, that's why we're taking him out. 
for the first the first show our first historical play I'm going to take out. So I like that. I like that. Your next question. Okay, that's so it's a it's a tie. It's a tie, I mean. So my last question, I mean. No, you still have two more. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, let me give it a tough one as well. Uh -uh. But this guy don't move from where you are sitting on. What? Okay, how many books have I written and what's the title of the last one? Wait. What's the question? How many books have I written so far? And what's the title of the last one? That way, can I even. Anybody, nobody in the room even knows that. The title of the last one is Anonymous Nipples. Wow, you got it. Because how many books have I written? How many books have I written so far? I'm not going to know that one. Give me options. No. Ah, <laughs> why? <laughs> Give me options. Okay, so it's between. It's, it's more than five, less than ten. It's more than five, less than ten. ten. Eight books. Yeah, eight books. <laughs> Someone told you. Who told me? The Lord. <laughs> <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, I got that right. Ace yeah. books. That's my last question. No, you still have one more. But we'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be asking the last question, mm -hmm. which apparently will be the deal breaker to know who will win, win yeah. the 7 of 7 episode for to tonight. Yeah. Let's go on this break and we'll be back. And we're back from that break, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the table right now. One down on Joseph Edgar's side, aka the Duke of Shemalu. One down on my side. One more question to go for my side. One more question to go for his side. And this will probably be the deal breaker to know if we have a winner yeah. or we have a tie today on the show. Do you want to go first with your final question or I should go first? Okay, you go first. Okay, now. So you've been doing, like we've been talking about stage plays and everything. Mm. Uh, you talked about Bonali Oster Peters being a modern day. Yeah. Um, what did you? How did you call it again? Modern of modern day Africa. A modern theater. day theater. Yeah. So and you've attended most of our plays. You've yeah, watched most. In initial stages, uh, not anymore. Because you're always having productions the same day. Okay. Mm. Now my question: If you do not give me an answer, you will drink. I will drink no problem. I'm liking the drink there. So um, you give me a name of a popular person that you saw on stage that's to you never do this again like you're a whack don't step on stage again oh, and that's why to me <laughs> come on beat you me say, like, <laughs> yes go on beat me Yes. So, 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 this was the play. I can't remember the name. I think before she blew up, she used to be on stage. Did you get? And then this production, I was like, what the fuck? What the hell is this? So I walked away. <laughs> if you like, you can't beat me now. That's more gay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's. That now you ask me question. I wanted you to just drink and not call anything. <laughs> yeah, we call. I can call plenty. There are plenty. Yeah. Yes, now. Not only but there are plenty. There are both places. Like, yeah, give me two what more. What are you doing here? Give me two popular. I've seen. Um, I've seen. Um, I've seen uh, Ketan Shaw, Airwood, and I've seen. I've also seen her in a. Let me say for for me, I don't like it when I don't like it when when you stereotype, when you play those stereotypical roles, like when you put the Aquabon person as house gay. Do you get? You put Aquabon person as house boy. Do you get? So house man as gay man. Yeah, so it's okay for the house man to be house but we we don't forget we are minorities. Okay. Do you get? So we are we suffer for that. So when we now have our prominent people commit to strengthen that stereotype for whatever reason, don't sit down with me. I don't like it for anything. That's why that Okomo Kalaba person, I can't even, if you walk I can slap him. I'm telling you. Because that's just strengthening that stereotype of my people as, as well as gay. So when I see an actress of that weight 
speaking like that for whatever reason, just the offer. So you have one more name. Hmm? You, have, you want to give us one? <laughs> Is <laughs> this you don't scatter him? I will tell you, I blend them. I will tell you. You have a new one. Okubi Bobo Manuel. Equal. 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 So, if, those, if you look at the first three, first four Manuel's productions, he's in everything. Do you get it? So, it becomes, <laughs> we talk about not being boring. Do you get it? And then when she, she did the Ebola movie, he was doctor again. So, now if you say you want to do a movie, people will go there. For which I don't know. Yeah? Okay, it's okay. Are you giving more? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I guess we don't want any more. And I'm going to do that. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so you know Kuku Drink. <laughs> your, your final question. Mm. I should ask her, you go ask me. No, we are, you have asked my last one, so it's now time for your last one. Okay, I should ask her. Because everybody is shocked. I'm <laughs> shocked. Everybody in the studio is shocked, and I'm sure you're watching at home too. Because that kind no, question. But, no, but you see, that but, kind question, they're supposed to drink. No, but you see, but you need to understand who you are talking to. So I'm a critic. Yeah, yeah. Good. So and I write I write a two-page column for this day every Sunday, abusing everybody. Hmm. From the president to DSS to you read my column this week. Yeah. Last week I said, I said, Mr. President, I think he needs to get it right to UFC now. Hmm. The place is a joke. So if I can attack the presidency. Who is potential? I'm a slapper. Oh, that's why I told me. What do you... uh, ask no, him. So... Ask him. Ask question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the... What? Yeah, um, <clears throat> my last question to you is. Let me see. Name two, three directors I've worked with. Name three theater directors I've worked with. That's cheap now. Three theater directors I've worked with. Bonaly or St. Peter? No. She's not a director. She's the director of a car up here. You can't work with her. No. Okay, let's not go deep into that conversation. <laughs> no, not, not, not because okay, she, not, not because she's talented though. She's well talented though. I respect her work. Do you get? It? But she has her own production now. She yeah, yeah, I get you. Now. You get that. She so wants to drink your drink now. So no, no, the answer now. Three. You never talk one. Three. Okay, so make I help you. And theatre directors are not the regular directors mm -hmm. that we know. So let me help you. So, so um, during ASU strike, I decided to start using professors for my plays, for very obvious reasons. They get so. I do not believe in ASU. I think it's a joke. I think it's a waste of time. That organization should be prescribed. <laughs> I think it's just filled with very lazy people. I write about it on the daily. I also believe that federal government should sell all federal universities. Federal government has. You see, tertiary education is not a social right. So, social rights begins from primary to secondary. Tertiary is luxury. That's why in America, the federal government don't own any school in America. So, state governments own school in America. Yeah. So, government subsidizing tertiary education is a waste of time and a waste of money. <laughs> so, I said, I'll prove my point. So, I carried my first professor and I said, How much do you, how much? And I give him five million dollars to go play for him. How much is that salary with professor? Do the maths. Do you get it? So we worked with three major professors, not any half professors, though. major, major professors. So Professor... We worked with Professor Ahmed Yerima. Ahmed Yerima. Professor Ahmed Yerima is the former DJ of National Theatre. Yeah. We worked with Professor um, Ujo Bakari. Uh -huh. Professor Ahmed Yerima, Professor Ujo, Ujo Bakari. Bakari. And then we worked with... Um, which other professor is there again that we worked with? We worked with um, okay, Professor Dodo, who is DJ of National Theatre. He's not worked with us as director, but he's consulted with us on this is my documentary. We show a documentary at Jan Theatre. So Professor Dodo is consulted with us. And then we worked with Makede. You know, Makede is the president of Nantap. So there's no need for me to drink now. Because no, there's me. Professor Ahmed Yerima, there's Professor Dodo, and mm -hmm. I've given you two. I'm so drinking. Eh? I, I named them. So see drinking this week. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, this happens to be the deal breaker. Oh, yeah. you want drink on the Make road? Make a headline. Okay. Uh -huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a tie. No winner. No loser. No Vuitton, no Vanguish. In a Jurassic World. Hmm. Hmm. I like this drink. Next time, if you do the one that if you miss, you put your shirt. If you miss, I put my shirt. They want to be free presenter, so, not you. So we want to do alcoholic. Uh -huh. No, leave the alcoholic. Alcoholic anonymous 
nakedness. C'est fait pour les pour ma jette. No way. Non, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we'll come to the end of this session right here on 7 of 7, but that's not all. As uh. always, we always like to check our guest sobriety, call it the walk of shame, and you will not be wrong, but we are doing a tongue twister. Um, the theatre troupe took to the stage, trilling the audience with their talent and flair. Five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> come again. The theatre troupe took to the stage, trilling the audience with their talent and flair. I'll miss it. I'll miss it. I'll so, miss it. So, Noni, thank you very much for gracing, you, gracing, gracing our bar yeah. on the 7 of 7. So, Awo is going to London. Yep, I will go to London. Anonymous Naples. August. August. And then, um, this December, the three beautiful places, let me tell one. One. So, like, one to tell. Does, does it have to do with nakedness? No, no, no. no. One to tell the history of Nigeria through music from 1960 to. Till 1980. So we're going to be doing all those Victor Olaya, mm. Bobby Benson, Roy Chicago, Edio Conta, um, all of them except Fela. You get so from the Independence Day, the High Life music, all of that to Shino Peters to. Why is it not Fela? Because I, 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 I don't be obvious. Fela, Fela has been over. <laughs> not beat too much. So the story <laughs> of Fela that I want to tell, they, they won't let me tell it. Mm. I want to talk about his sexuality. Yes, I was worried about. I don't talk about his sexuality. He married twenty-seven wives. Was he having three sons to them? Was he? How was he doing it? Did he have to do take Viagra at some point because he was old at some point? You know, and all of that. And we can see that uh, what's happening with the widow now is, is, is a trend. You know, Bobby Benson can, can't count his wives. Fella married twenty-seven. There's something wrong, musician. <laughs> you're not guessing. There's, there's but there's Bonner boy. There's nothing wrong with Bonner boy. No, you won't know. It's them that works there. All these guys are doing all this noise now because of the kind of person that the widow is. So maybe he's a likable person. Maybe it's his style of engagement. <laughs> but it's in a style of engagement. Yes, you know, say, you know, say, you know say, if, you go, if you go to tell him and say, oh, I love you. <laughs> you man can you know, you know. But because if you go, if you, like a bono boy, you look at you, you look at tell bono boy, this thing will not get a teller. It will beat her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh! I'm going over to police. They even come and carry me. Are you getting me now? So, 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 so look, look at Two Face. Hmm. Look at Davido. Look at Timmy Dakolo. It is a nice gentleman. Did you get? So they are successful with these kinds of things. But look at Bonner Boy. Look at the Banch. <laughs> look at uh, Shaquet. <laughs> hey, do, do those people look like people we can go and start telling all the stories that we hear about Davido? <laughs> yeah. So, but on, on the most of us note. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to ask if there's a, if there's a tie between creativity and sexuality. Hmm. You get, why are musicians, why are actors, why are artists crazy when it comes to women? women yeah. Do you get, like, all over the world, you get, why? So if you go to the, the highest extent of AIDS, where AIDS first came out, was in San Francisco, California, and that's where you get all of those creatives. Yeah. Like, so why did Fela marry 27? With your wife, you can't even count. Bobby Bess, you can't count. Shino Peters can't count. Um, almost all of them. In fact, <laughs> for any reason, I have only one wife. Naim no get, Naim no Do you get? In no blue. In no blue. So, so <laughs> we even thought two-faced was a peak. Now, they do not, you don't talk two-faced to kindergarten. <clears throat> but two-faced need to come to Bobby, they do to learn work on this matter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and that's the show this evening, and we hope you enjoyed it. We had Joseph Edgar, aka the Duke of Shimulu in the building. My name is OJ. Join us again next time as we drink on 7 of 7. Like I always say, do not drink and drive, or else you might spill your drink. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>